So Tom wanted to make a video about barbecuing, but currently he is unable to move because the baby fell asleep. Is he comfortable, Tom? He's a good boy. Hi, this is Tom's barbecue. So it actually is my barbecue. And what I'm going to show is just basically how to start it kind of how to use it. We'll go into more stuff and I have a chicken ready to go on. But basically I normally cover it up and I get everything ready ahead of time. And I put wood and I use uh, coconut husks if I have them. For it's a shame that someone, there's <laughs> always someone out doing the garden the when, it, when the weather's nice in Virginia in January. <laughs> but I'm going to try to start it up and then we're going to put a chicken on. So let me see if I can get it started. So what are you using to light the fire? Coconut husks. Get it going, and then we're gonna get a chicken on there. The chicken, well, the chicken can go on even when it's burning because it's gonna be on a rotisserie. I was gonna say, what kind of chicken are you doing? Rotisserie, that's the way to do it. Where did you get your rotisserie from? Amazon. And how much was it? 40 bucks. It's a really good deal. I got the biggest one they had because the fire pit's really long, so I had to put uh, brackets in. And uh, Can you show us how you made the brackets? <laughs> it is. It is uh, crutches that are nailed into the ground, and when you want to take them off, I can just undo them by pulling this off, and then you do that. But when you want to put it back on, you could do this. And when you can set it at different heights if you wanted to. I, I just have it leveled off right there. And it just, so, the so why did you need to do that? So um, so the rotisserie fit. How, why, what was, like, why didn't it fit? Because the um, it's not meant for a fire pit. It's meant for it's meant for a grill, which we don't have. So. And this is wider, bigger. This is wider. Oh, I see flames. There's the flames. It's going. It's going. Even though it's wet out. It's doing good. What's the fire pit made from? It's a it's a water it's a water bucket. It's a giant water tub and some pieces of uh, stone that I got from, yeah, where did I get that from? Craigslist, somebody was giving them away. So how, much, so how much money did this whole fire pit cost? Nothing, I mean, the, the only thing that cost money was the rotisserie. Yeah. Everything else was free. Yeah, the, the stones came from FreeCycle. The bricks we, came from FreeCycle. The bricks. We found the uh, tub around town somewhere. Someone was, it was. Fast car, you're going away. Bit fast car. Someone's fast car's going by. Yeah, we found someone throwing it away. The wood came from a tree that was Several growing there. <laughs> that we cut down to build the garage. Lots of smoke. And it may or may not, so I might have to add some more paper, but it may or not. It is, it has been wet. I think it's spitting with rain just a little bit as well. Yeah, it's supposed to dry up. Barbecue box. Barbecue box. That's not It's actually not that cold out there. This is actually working okay. Smells good. Yeah. All right, so what are you doing now? Just make it to the wind. Off the fire. So what are you looking for for it to be ready for the chicken? It's ready right now. I just need to get the chicken. It has to, I mean eventually it will burn more and get the fire up, but it, it, it will, I think it will catch now. The chicken can go on right now. It's starting to spit with rain as well. Yeah, to get the fire bigger. <laughs> it's gonna it's blue. This guy's somewhat blue. <laughs> That's meteorologist Tom. <laughs> it's not gonna rain because the sky is blue. It's not blue. It's like cloudy and gray. <laughs> All right, that's the chicken. We're gonna go put chicken on the grill. So time to put. Right back outside. Have to be Sam. 
sanitary. So, um, what have you done with the chickens so far? I just um, took a, I took the gizzards out. They're gonna cook separately. I will eat them. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I seasoned it as onions and uh, peppers, like uh, sir, I think they're Sorrento peppers. I don't know what kind of peppers. They're hot and they're in it. And I put some uh, Cajun seasoning on the outside. And all you do to get it ready is I have to go this way with this. So you get this thing. Set how far you want to chicken down it with a little screw, and I think right about there is good. You just eyeball that? I, I can move it around once it's on there. And then you pick, you stick it in the chicken's butt, <laughs> and we're gonna go right, try to go to the center. There's the onion in there, I'm fighting with the onion right now. Fight that onion. Yeah, oh, there we go. And we're gonna try to go through where the neck would be. And how much effort did that take? Does that take to do what to, put to it poke it through? Oh, not not much. It's not the chickens aren't very big. So you don't need to be very strong to no, do that. No, no. We just want to put the skewers in there. That looks like it's pretty good. Actually, it's not. <laughs> we position everything. Why is it not? It's not going to be balanced. Okay. So you want to get it balanced? Somewhat. That's better. Much more balanced. And this one comes up. I just want to try to get it in the center so it doesn't flop around too much. Um, and that should be pretty good. So we'll see if it fits on here. First, I have in the fire, so I'm not going to have to get the rotisserie part. So, and where's the rotisserie part? In the garage. In the garage. Yeah. All these new peppers are coming out. Put those peppers back. All right, so we're in the garage. And over here, Tom has his little barbecue area, with like a mini barbecue, and all his utensils. So Tom has got a cable to put power on the rotisserie, because it needs electricity to work. It's not starting. It's very dry. It should start. The wood's dry. Close the barbecue box. It's <laughs> wet outside. This family, we don't wait for the summer to barbecue. We, we do it all year. Yeah, all year round. We've cooked our Thanksgiving turkey on the rotisserie before. And you had to make some kind of crazy shelter because it was yeah, raining. Big dome that went around it. Yeah, big dome. <laughs> Tasted good though. Yeah, it came out really good. See a flame. Quick baby update while the chicken is cooking. Oh, I think he's asleep with his eyes slightly open, which is really creepy. It's been about half an hour and the chicken is changing color. You can see something trying to pop out. Oh my goodness, Tom, what did you do? Put the, I put some kindling on to warm it up. Is that going to burn the chicken? No, it's going to burn down in like a, in a minute. It's just a twig, so I picked some stuff around the wall. How long has it been since we started cooking? Uh, I started at like uh, 2.30. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. I don't know what time it is now. Is it like an hour later? No, I don't know if it's an hour. Like 45 minutes? Yeah, probably like that. It's going good. <laughs> Very loud. I don't know if you can hear. I wanted to get the wood I added going. So it looks like it's going just better. 
Once it gets up to temperature, it works pretty good. It takes a little off the fire to catch. That's why we start cooking way ahead of time. It's nice and charred. Yeah, now we got some blackening going on. <laughs> the blackening? Yeah. Tom, look, the sky is actually clearing up. There's a bit of sun. So what are you about to do, Tom? Check the temperature. Okay. How long has the chicken been cooking for? Uh, I, I don't... Um, about an hour and a half? Yeah, it takes about an hour and a half. It's looking nice and toasty. Tom also is roasting some... Oh, is that the gizzards? It is, my surprise. Oh, and some onions. Looks really good. The rotisserie's turned off. Is it all done? Yeah, it, 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 I'm just gonna get this straightened out. It's, it should be done. So we're having battery problems with the uh, thermometer. I'm gonna turn the rotisserie on just for a little bit more while Tom works out why the thermometer is not working. It smells really good. We've never had a rotisserie chicken that doesn't taste good, so I am definitely looking forward to eating this in just a little bit. Two out, and get it off of here. So there's one, and this one Is it all cooked now? It should be cooked, and if it's not, well, uh, it is. It is cooked. It's not the favorite chicken. Oh, the fire's so nice and warm. Oh, the fire's really good. If it was just a few degrees warmer, we could eat outside, but it's just cold yeah, enough. 10 degrees, I think. Would be the yeah, and it's getting slightly colder. I mean, it's January. I remember that before we, uh, before we lived in our house, we always lived in apartments, and we never had outdoors. And we moved in in March, and it had been snowing, and the snow just melted away. And as soon as the snow melted away, we put our thick winter jackets on, and we were eating outside. I know. Great. <laughs> Yeah. Now we've been in this house for five years where we're not so likely to come outside when it's cold. It's it tastes good. good. It's very good. So let's get our stuff ready and we're ready to eat. So Tom, Tom, what are you doing right now? Cutting the legs off. So I'm going to have a nice big drumstick. I'm not sure what this is. It's gravy. Oh, it's gravy. And I'm going to just get the other parts. So we're just getting it cut up and served. Did you try it yet? Yeah, it's very good. The skin came out really good. I need to get a separate container for all the bones. But yeah, you know, it's good. I might, I, I'm gonna go get a plate, I think, for me. I'm gonna make a mess. Alright, so that's it. From raw chicken to rotisserie chicken.